pizza time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but a couple videos ago, we made like a pretty cool barbecue pit. Unfortunately, we also made a massive design flaw. <laughs> yeah, we kind of just assumed the hard clay inside would hold up the whole wall. It just ended up collapsing and burying the smoker, so we had to literally dig the thing out. It was a whole mess. <laughs> It is what it is. Well, in this video, we brick it up and then we add on something that makes it like 10 times better than it ever was. But anyway, uh, quick disclaimer, I lay a lot of brick in this video and um, before before this video, I had never laid brick in my entire life. So uh, you'll see at the lowest part of the wall, it get, it's pretty rough and then as I go up, um, it gets better. But if you want to actually know how to lay brick, uh, this guy is awesome. Yeah, we are not an instructional channel, okay? <laughs> yes, we are this, pure entertainment. This guy is an instructional channel and he has a sick accent and he's super cool. Super cool. Um, anyway, we will see y'all after the time lapse. Enjoy the video. bag of mortar mix. So now you just work this around. So this looks about good. Um, I will probably have to add a little bit more water as we get lower and it will kind of start to dry. Now start slabbing mortar up here. The most important brick you can really set is the first one. I'm going to try to get it halfway in between these two, obviously, and then take the trowel and just kind of do a little smooth motion like that just to scrape it back. Do the same with the back so you're not wasting mortar. And this has a pretty good mortar margin already or whatever you call that. Uh, I heard 10 centimeters is like kind of standard. I'm American though, and I don't know what centimeters are, so I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it. Next is you have to level it from all angles. We can see that this is starting off not level at all. Even though it looks kind of level, it is not. Kind of tap it a little bit, and then re level. And we're closer. You can see the bubble is still kind of touching the line, so I'm gonna do it just a tad more. And that is pretty much perfect. So we're just gonna place it like this. Make sure you don't lose too much. Scrape off the excess. You got another brick. So now you gotta level this again. Boom, perfectly level.
dug a chimney pipe for the oven and uh, we're just about done. All we have to do is just join the pipe to the oven itself. And to do that, we are using clay. Uh, we dug up some like actual clay ore from the ground. So hopefully the smoke should just come straight up through there. And yeah, we won't have smoky pizzas. So you have to like hit it a million times because when it comes out of the ground, it's like super solid. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you're doing a good job. All right, we finished the chimney. Now all we gotta do is set the cap on it. Alright, so we're making this table real quick. Nothing too big. Only big thing is we're gonna have to cut this edge because it's going by the pizza oven. But yeah, we'll get back with you whenever we get it down there. All right, so we finished building the table. We got a few things left to do. Uh, yeah, you can, if you, here, bring, bring the camera. We have a few battle scars of getting this thing down here. Look, we had to bring it down. So yeah, we've got to sand this whole thing, but thankfully we just got an orbital sander. Should be easy. We're going to stain it and seal it since it's going to be out here the whole time. And our final piece for it will be a nice granite countertop. This thing is already like 150, 200 pounds. Might as well have a 300 pound one. I mean, it's not going anywhere at this point. <laughs> but yeah, our next thing is moss and it already grows pretty well down here but this entire wall is barren and constantly eroding like it's slowly eating away at the staircase so what Noah and I are gonna go do is we're gonna head over that way way down a trail you have not seen yet and get a ton more moss to help insulate this wall and keep it from caving in yeah see you in a minute So guys, so this is where we get all of our moss. Uh, it's pretty clear to see why. There's literally an infinite amount of it uh, along these hillsides. Uh, like we'll take a bunch one month and then come back the next month and it's all regrown. So it's literally an infinite moss farm. But uh, yeah, let's collect a little bit and uh, plant it where we need it. Hey guys, thanks for making it this far into the video, and we just want to give a special thanks to Mr. Bobby. Y'all saw him last episode, but he literally gave us all of the bricks back here that we used when we started. Hey guys, thanks for making that. Whoa! Alright, let's, all right, let's I, hurry. I think it's time to end the video, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Alright, uh... Yo.
um, quick. Oh, Lord. That's the first. Okay. Um. Well, no. Pack her up. Uh, thank y'all for watching the video. We made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, we will see y'all next time.